good YouTube now to your back again once again today people today we are here for episode number 91 of our brand new Pokemon Violet let's play here on the channel in the last episode you guys we snagged the final mons for our living decks that we have access to now it's a good way to put it and we also took on the Academy Ace tournament so if you missed out on that definitely make sure you go back and check it out we got to battle some new uh, important key characters for the first time ever and I thoroughly enjoyed it so yes if you missed that I'll definitely make sure you go back and check it out in today's episode I'm not entirely sure everything that we have left to do I know that there is a little bit more drama here at the Uva Academy we got a couple more storylines to wrap up um, I know that we were given the raids the terror raids the scary terror raids we're supposed to go and check out so I think that's another side quest we gotta do for Jacques um, and then apparently, I know we already did the gym leader rematches, um, and went and caught the Titans, but I skipped over all the Team Star, and I don't know, I saw some of you guys are saying that there are Team Star rematches, so I don't know, maybe at some point we need to go and check it out and see if that's true, because, I mean, we've done everything, so why not do that too, so I don't know, we're just gonna go and see where we get to, if you guys are hyped for some more Pokemon Violet, and of course if you'd like to show your support as a prime member of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Aided. Now, quick team recap. You guys know what the squad looks like at this point. Big Mama Max Calibur at 72 holding the muscle band. Our hero Palafin at 72 with the life orb. And Sparta, our girl over here, she is that girl. She's level 73 holding the expert belt. Our boy from day one, Skeledurge at 73 with the wise glasses. Garganical, the wall that will not fall. She's holding her quick claw at 73. And last but not least, Tinker Tons of Fun at 73 holding her leftovers. So. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, I thought that was, um, this time. <laughs> I was like, wait, what the fuck? Um, so we have Penny here in the entrance hall to go check up on. Arvin is in the cafeteria. Sawato is still in the home ec room, but we know what he's looking for. And Nimona is in the schoolyard. So, fuck it. Let's start with Penny in the entrance hall. Pennard! Where are you at, Pennard? I don't see Pennard. Pennard! Weren't you easily accessible in the entrance hall? I feel like I'm gonna run all around, all around, all around, and she's gonna be like standing at the front fucking desk. But you know, then again, it's Penny. It's Penny. She could be hiding out anywhere. And uh, you know what? Oh, it's because they have a library in the middle. I was gonna say, I do like how you do. Oh, I gotta go talk to this Gengar. <sighs> Ms. Gita, I do like how you design this. What's up, dog? I do like how you designed this entrance hall, but uh, it's probably just because of the library in the middle. But I was going to say, why don't they fucking connect? Yo, where is this chick at? We don't go up anymore, do we? No, there's not another floor. Where the fuck is Penny at? Pennard! What the hell y'all doing down here? Where is Penny? It says she's in the entrance hall, right? Am I crazy? Oh, what, what the fuck are you doing way over here? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Where did Team Star... Oh, she's spying on them. They weren't just there. Ah, what? Nappy, hurry up and hide and keep quiet, okay? Are we spying? Whew, that was close. What you doing? What you doing, girl? Um, yeah, you know, I'm just, uh... Guess I might as well come clean. Take a look over there. Do you get it now? Uh, little context, please. Ah, oh, sorry. Your jump scare earlier completely frazzled me. My brain's still trying to reboot. <laughs> Bitch, I walked up to you. All right, here's the sitch. Team Star have started coming to school again, but I don't know if they're gonna fit in okay, and it's been playing on my mind, you know? So I'm checking on them from over here. You could just ask them, hey, how are you doing? How have you been? Hmm, guess well, guess we're still not exactly getting a warm welcome here, huh? Well, duh. Sure, the teachers finally figured out we're not a bunch of delinquents, but it's not like we can press some magic button and make everyone else accept us. True story! We gotta fix this, man. Time for a change of track. Get it? Change of track? He's a DJ. Huh? A change of track? 
What, are they gonna start wearing normal school uniforms so they stop scaring off other kids? Oh, Momo, Ordy, they're both really trying their best to fit in here at school. Her <laughs> homeboy was mischievous. Out of the way! A change of tack, huh? What exactly are you suggesting? Ah! Uh, I mean, uh, 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 how about we say a big friendly howdy to everyone here? Like, just yell it loud as we can. No, we did that last gen. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. What? That's stupid. Go on and embarrass yourself if you want to, but count me out. Made him drop his staff. He was flabbergasted. Uh, yeah, that idea seems a bit off. Hold up! Let me explain! Bro, you a DJ. Just turn the music on here in the entrance hall. Everybody be down with it. You know Rhyme, right? She does this at her concerts. No joke. If the crowd ain't hyped at the start of the show, she'll shout the loudest greeting you ever heard in a mile like, Sup, y'all! Or whatever. Lifts the mood like nobody's business. Yeah, that makes sense. Because those are concerts. This is school. It's different. Okay, smart guy. So we're opting for the cold shoulder treatment forever then, are we? No, no, that totally suck. It wouldn't, wouldn't it? So yeah, it would, wouldn't it? So yeah, our only option is to yell at everyone so they know we're nice. Here, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Hey, morning, y'all. How are we all feeling today? It'd be crazy. Everybody was like, Hey, Giacomo, I'm feeling good. Oh no, Giacomo, what are you doing? This is so embarrassing. Everybody having a good time? Come on, Ortega, you gotta do it too. Hold on a sec. You, you're just practicing for your DJ sets, aren't you? Thanks for coming tonight! Quick, say it! Th th thanks thanks for coming tonight! Yeah, bro, that wasn't it. Hey! What do you mean, thanks for coming? We're not hosting anything. What on earth? Are those guys from Team Star? What the heck are they yelling for? Is this some kind of skit? Oh, they're pretty funny. I guess they're not as scary as I thought. No way. P people are actually warming up to them? Why? That makes zero sense. <sighs> Momo and Ordy really are operating on a different level. I'm kind of amazed. Seems all my worrying is for nothing, huh? Now that that's all settled, I guess I should get going. Hasta la vista. All oh, her being accepted. Holy one. Holy one. Yo, but I'm serious about that fucking DJ shit. Set that laptop up, dog. Play some fucking tones. <laughs> I got a list if you need it. Uh, anyways, okay. I guess that wraps up Penny's storyline, I guess. Cafeter oh, no. Penny's over here still. Do we follow Penny? I, let's let's stick with one one story at a time. Let's follow Penny. She's in the school store. Cause you know, I was wondering what about the other two chicks from Team Star? No, there's five. There was five Team Star captains, right? There's Melo the Fire one. Oh no, the poison one was a guy. He wasn't there. Okay. What you doing in here, girl? Talk to me. Yeah, my leg! Oh, let's call me. <laughs> oh, hey Nappy. I'm checking in on Atticus. Here we go. So keep your voice down, okay? <laughs> whisper, whisper. She said, Okie dokie! Appreciate it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I must say, the Academy Emporium stocks some rather splendid wares. I admit my expectations were far lower than warranted. Wow, he really seems to have taken a shine to the school store. Doesn't seem like he'll notice us anytime soon, so I guess there's no point whispering. You know, of all my Team Star friends, it's Atticus I'm worried will have the most trouble fitting in. Why, because he dresses like that? Greetings, my good shopkeep. I would very much like to acquire the limited edition ninja garments released today. I believe you have five sets in stock, yes? Oh, the ninja cosplay set? Yes. I'm sorry, dear, but someone bought the last two from us earlier. We're completely sold out. Ah! What? This cannot be! I will burn this school to the ground if I am unable to procure those garments. Why, I... That will ruin everything! 
It appears I have no choice but to burn this I mean, track down the rival patron of mine, and when I find them, I will burn them to the ground. I shall fix them with my piercing gaze, and beg on bended knee for the ninja garments I so crave. What? Since when? <laughs> since, since when was Atticus this good looking? Wait, no, focus. If he starts begging some kind of, if he starts begging some kid for their ninja outfit, people will think he's a weirdo. We should stop him, right? Let's just see how this pans out. Let him do his thing. Don't be, inter don't be interfering. Seriously, but. Oh, Don Atticus, there you Oh, I forgot about this guy. Oh, Don Atticus, there you are. He was outside of base, right? My young compadre, I, I must apologize about the garments I promised you so that we might dress as ninja together. Oh, yeah, I got us covered. I already bought two sets of that ninja cosplay stuff for us to wear. <gasps> I beg your pardon. When I came here earlier, the shopkeeper lady was putting them out on the shelves, so I bought one for you and one for me. You know how popular these outfits are. I was super lucky to be able to snag them. Now, come on, let's go play ninja outside. <gasps> Goodness me, what a happy turn of events. I shall retrieve my shuriken from my quarters so that we might enjoy some target practice. Oh, awesome! I can also use my masterful stitchery to transform thy ninja garments into a sublime vision of poison. What say you? Mm, I'm good, thanks. Oh, the insolence of this one. Yo, so, uh, uh Lord Time, uh, Atticus is actually Brashus' son, and instead of being, uh, uh expressing art with his grass-type sunflower, homeboy is stricken with poison and, so, and expresses his art through his ninja style, and when he, when he's ninja up, he has a disguise to his voice, and when he's not, he's, he's, he's just, like, Brashus, you know? Look at these two kids over here. Are you looking at the shelf? Uh, the shit on the shelf ain't gonna change. Get it or don't. Whew. Looks like he was able to wrap up this little escapade without making a scene. But more importantly, Atticus has already made a friend at school. Well, that doesn't count. He was already friends with him. Kind of makes me feel bad that I thought I had to spy on him. Anyway, I guess I'll get going. Hasta la vista. You should feel bad for spying. If you're worried about how they doing, just ask. How you doing? I'm gonna check this shop real quick. <laughs> what you got here? What you got here? I don't want none of this. I don't want none of this. I don't want none of this. Actually, I do want some quick balls. <laughs> Just in case. I mean, we don't even have any more Pokemon to catch. Never mind. I don't want to buy any quick balls. <laughs> Unless we have a shiny that pops up. Uh, there's nothing else in the game. We've literally caught them all. <laughs> the only thing we can catch is in a different game at this point. So, Penny's in the art room. So, I'm guessing the other two chicks, Mela and... What was her name? Started with an E, right? Ari? She called her Riri? Or something like that? Are they both in here? Uh, Hassel? How you doing, dog? Hello there, Nappy. Please stay for as long as you wish. Thanks, bro. Just gonna go over here and talk to my homegirl. What you up to, girl? Huh? How are you doing, Nappy? I've never been inside the art room before. It smells like paint in here, but in a good way. What brings you here? Are you spying again? Um, well, I'm worried about this rumor that's going around. People are saying Team Star is planning to raid the art room or something. It's probably just rubbish made up by some kids who are still scared of Team Star, though. My friends would never do anything like that, and who'd want to raid the art room anyway? <laughs> knock, knock, we're coming in. Ah, they actually showed up. Hey, ain't nobody raiding the art room. Fucking Hassel is here and he ain't letting that shit happen. Wow, this Doraptor is incredible. It looks just like it's about to attack with close combat. Hey, you quit the art club or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Don't tell me that rumor is for real. Are they actually going to raid the art room? No, no, there's no way they wouldn't. We should just keep watching. So, um, did, did you need anything? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm here to ask, you know, uh, um, if... If? If you got any last words, punk. That's not her voice, but I, I, I can't find it. You know, I'm like right here next to it. 
No way. It's a raid. This literally, this is literally a raid. No, knock it off, Melly. Being shy is one thing, but you can't go around threatening people to cover it up. R right, sorry, Aerie. My bad. So, uh, about your club. The art club, I mean. I, um, I was wondering if I could join. Oh, you wanted to ask about club membership. Sheesh, you got me scared there. We're open to any students who want to join, but, uh... Yes, isn't it great, Melly? Hang on, Aerie. This guy's still got something to say. Spit it out, then. I gotta earn my way in, or what? Uh, no, it's just... I was hoping I could ask what prompted you to go for the art club, that's all. You're asking me why I wanted to join? Well, if I gotta explain... One of my pals made this outfit for me, these sick boots and everything. I'm big into flame patterns like this, so I want to try and make something like it myself. So yeah, painting! That's what I want to do. I'm a total newbie at it, but... I realized something when I saw that real simple looking fletchling painting on the wall there. I don't have to be some genius artist, I just want to make art that has my own charm, you know? The fletchling painting? Um, I did that one. Is this where they start blushing? And they lock eyes and Mela gets all flustered. <gasps> that one's yours? I thought it was like a, a finger painting by a kindergartner or something. <laughs> yeah, I get that all the time. Our president's paintings are real lovable because they're real simple. Everybody says so. Huh? You're the art club's president? I can already tell we'll have a lot of fun in the club together. Could you tell us your name? Your boots are awesome. Can I get a closer look? The the name's Mella. And yeah, good eye. My boots are the best. A pal of mine who's a big arts and crafts nerd made them for me. So the raid thing was just a misunderstanding. Well, that's a relief, but wow. I didn't know that Melly wanted to join the art club. <laughs> How the hell this big ass girl get up here? I can't wait to see what Melly paints. I bet it'll be something amazing, huh? Yeah, I guess. Ah, Ari, how'd you know we were here? Wait, you're supposed to be hiding? I was, I was wondering what was going on. You were just kind of hanging out in the open over here. But you don't need to worry anyway. Melly's been too nervous to notice you. Wow, so even Melly gets the jitters sometimes. Trying new things is scary for everyone. That's why I came here for moral support. But you know, I think she'll be just fine. And she's not the only one doing something new. Carmen and I have started up a wrestling club. Melly will have a blast here, I'm sure, so I gotta keep up with her. I'll enjoy the time I have left at the academy as much as I can. Anyway, it was nice bumping into you both. Hasta la vista. Bye, girl. Melly and Ari really are putting themselves out there, aren't they? I, I guess I'll head off to Hasta la vista. Is that it? That's all five members, or does Penny have her own? Get your big ass out the way. Or does Penny have her own to do here? Where she's going to uh, make friends, or we're her friend. We're her friend, right? Classroom 1D. Penny's not done yet. Penny ain't done yet. Penny girl, what you doing over here in the classroom all by yourself, girl? You ain't in 1A, you in 1D. What you doing, girl? Oh, hey Nappy. Welcome to my classroom. All the students here are in the STEM track, just like me. Oh, well, never mind. So, um, there's something I want to talk to you about, but not here. Let's go somewhere where we can talk in private. Where we going, girl? Last time someone said that we ended up in our dorm room that we never go to. Which, I mean, I guess it's private. Whoa, is this painting's dorm room? That's a sick-ass painting of Scizor. I'm guessing it is. This looks like a cat lady's house. Look at that setup you got, girl! You got a whole fucking server! Th this is my room. Make yourself at home. I bet you it's hot in that bitch. It's nice and cozy in here, girl! I love it! <laughs> I know, right? Being surrounded by my VVs and figurines is kind of my heaven. Anyway, you must be wondering why I brought you here. It's about my Team Star friends. They, they really mean the world to me. I love them all so much that I got scared they weren't going to fit in okay or be happy at school. That's why I've been sort of spying on them since they came back. But it turns out I didn't need to worry. 
they're already having a great time. And now I feel bad that I didn't have it in me to believe in them in the first place. They've all grown so much, but I haven't changed since Operation Starfall. I'm still scheming up ways to fix things by myself instead of having a little faith. It's only natural you worry. Come on, it's all new. It's all new. You, you really think so? That's a normal thing for friends to do? Of course. Hell yeah, girl. I wouldn't be going from place to place to place checking up on you if we weren't friends, girl. Huh? I feel better after talking it out with you, Nappy. Thanks. And, um, I want you to know you're a really important friend to me, too. That goes for Nimona as well. And even Arvin and Miraidon. You know, I don't normally like having people in my room. But you're an exception. Stop by for a chat or whatever anytime. Till our next confab, then. Hasta la vista. Girl, you trying to game? I'm a gamer, girl. So is this actually, yo, look at this fucking art, yo, Pokemon Center. What are you, look at this, see, Titan! Yo, I I'm getting ready to redo the, the office anyways. I would love it right back there on the wall. Yo, I want that fucking Sea Titan painting. Yo, if there's a deviant art artist out there or anybody, anybody, yo, look at our fucking PC! Yo, I might have to find somebody and commission them. Like, I'm sorry, I can't get a better angle of it, but this is what it looks like, these paintings. I want all three of them. I don't even like painting that much. I mean, she cool, don't get me wrong. I ain't trying to hit on her. Um, but all three of these paintings are dope as fuck. Holy shit, bro. Like what? And I love her PC up there. Look at it with the Pokeball inside of it. All her evolutions too. Girl, I know it's smelling here. <laughs> I know you at well, I didn't see a single litter box. <laughs> I didn't see a single litter box, girl. Where where are these Eevees going? You don't keep them in her Pokeball, where they all going? I know it smells strong in there. I'm glad there's no carpet on the floor. <laughs> Arvin, what you doing, bro? Yo, Nappy, you grabbing something to eat too? Man, you sure did give me a beating in that Academy Ace tournament. Seems like all my closest buddies are in another league, you know? I mean, look at you. You just up and became a champion in your first year of boot. You know, it's pretty amazing, right? Then there's Nimona, top marks in every class at school, and she's champion rank too. And I hear Penny's got some kind of offer to work for the Pokemon League or something. Oh, I seem to be the only average one around here. And don't you forget it. Nothing special about me. Bro, you're great at cooking. Your dad's a super villain. Nah, I mean, it's just like a hobby, really. I only learned how to do the basics because my dad wasn't around to cook for me. You know who else was a great chef, pokey chef? Brock. And that motherfucker got ass and became a breeder. Come on now. Wait! My dad! See, now that Marble Stiff is doing so much better, and since the treasure hunt is still going and all, I've been thinking of a new goal to find myself. I thought you were supposed to go do the badges, bro. And I guess you really gotta start by knowing where you come from, which means I should learn more about my dad, right? So the dad was the right answer the whole time? <laughs> He was a student at this school once too, that's what I heard. And I'm gonna search the whole school for info about what kind of person he really was. Hey bro, start in the library, read the Violet book, dog. Thanks for the inspiration, little buddy. Fuck you, dog. Fuck you, dog, I don't wanna hear nothing. So wait, Penny had three or four, does Arvin have three or four? I guess so. All right, hey, let's get it. Arvin, bro, what's popping with you? What's moving? What's shaking? How you feeling? <gasps> Plot twist: Arvin's dad is Director Clavel. Not me, boy. Did you pick a great moment to stop on by? Take a look at this. This is supposed to be from a, to be a sample from my dad's research back when he was a student. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what Director Clavel here told me. He's been helping me out. When Turo was a student at this academy, I was still a mere researcher myself. Among my peers, it was already being bandied, bandied about, bandied about that an astoundingly gifted young man was studying at Uva Academy. All right, doing it. Hold up. I had never heard the word bandied used before. Bandied. Pass on or discuss an idea or rumor in a casual or uninformed way. Bandy. Bandy. Is that, is that like banter? Past tense bandied. Pass on or discuss an idea or rumor in a casual way. Okay. 
<laughs> so he really was amazing. Right from the start, huh? Oh, I guess I never really questioned it, but why is your office full of all this equipment? I know, bro. Why you need so many chairs? You can't sit in all these chairs. Huh, so you finally noticed, have you? This room was once your father's research lab. What? It was? From what I've heard recounted, he apparently would become so absorbed in his research that he hardly ever returned to his dorm room. He spent most nights sleeping here, in fact. I cannot get the stain out of the floor over there either where he slept. I also find myself more at ease surrounded by such research equipment, so I took the liberty of adapting the room to serve as my office. I never knew. All these pieces of my dad's life, they are right in front of me this whole time. I spent so long trying not to think about him that I never even noticed until now. Thanks for telling me about this, Director Clavel. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. And Nappy, thanks for being here with me to learn about it too. Got you, bro. Ah, oh, Master Arvin, I also intended to explain about these trophies here. And he is already gone. Rather hard to pin down, isn't he? Off like a flash as soon as some new thought crosses his mind. But I want to know! I was asking about them before! My dear Turo, I think that son of yours takes after you a very great deal. But tell me, I want to know what the trophies are. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Fuck it, I don't want any more school related matters. Tell me what the trophies are. Whore. Arvin, where did you run off to now, Doug? Day don't day. He's in the entrance hall. All right, giddy up, buckle up. We gonna mosey on down here to the La Holiday Day entrance <laughs> and see where where the hell what? First of all, get your ass back down here, Mr. Camera. Second of all, where the hell Arvin at? There you go, dog. I'm gonna say don't be hiding like Penny was. He look. I told him to go over here and look, didn't I? I told him to go get them gym badges. He still ain't done it yet. At least he did this. Yo, chomp, coming to hit the books. Uh, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, bro. Let's gas him up. Seriously? You're already so good at everything else. Couldn't you just slack off a bit for me? Alright, fuck you, dog. I don't give a fuck about the rest of your story, dog. You're an ass. From the beginning, you're an ass. And then they give you this whole emotional story, and everybody's like, oh, 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 oh he's so, he's just, he's, 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 I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a victim of circumstance. And now it's like, bro, you're just an ass. Oh, you want to know why I'm here? Uh, yeah, I'm still working on my own little treasure hunt, trying to find myself and all. While I was here in the entrance hall, digging through my dad's research reports, I found this one on the bookshelves. This book was so precious to my dad that he even kept a copy of it in the lighthouse lab. The Violet Book. That's what it's called, right? This is my first time really reading the bits that aren't about the Irma Mystica. They're amazing! I mean, it all sounds super fake, but it's got all these cool pictures and it's real fun to read. Like, look at this entry here. We read this, right? A what? A what what? While well, separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a savage entity, a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a sit what? With layers of overlapping hexagons. It bore a, I don't know what that is. It's more than one letters. More than, more than one letter, yeah. With layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. Now, when we were talking about story, like when we did the Area Zero and everything, a lot of you guys in the comment section were talking about that they have referenced some other time-traveling Pokemon, and that's supposed to be where Arvin's dad got the idea for time travel to begin with. Now, I don't know if that's going to be included in DLC or what, or if this is even referencing that. It sounds like it, which is what it maybe remind me of, but maybe we should just keep going and <laughs> maybe he'll explain it. The text on this page is all smudged and blurry and every copy of this book I've ever seen. Seems kind of suspicious, right? Of course, the whole book is full of unbelievable stories, the Herba Mystica being one of them. But they turned out to be real, and after everything we saw in every zero, well, ha ha, makes it hard to say it's all nonsense, huh? In fact, I think I might have been this book that made my dad want to become a researcher. I bet he got so fixated with the future Pokemon he read about in here that it made him want to see one for himself. Wait, hold on. 
Isn't my dad's time machine the whole reason the future Pokemon ended up here in the first place? This book is from way before he made the time machine, but it mentions future Pokemon. Isn't that kind of weird? Oh well, <laughs> I'm sure it's all just made up anyway. <laughs> but my dad believed that nonsense and even managed to make it a reality. I guess he really was something. Also, oh, it's all just nonsense, right? Not real. Dad did it, but fuck it. I'm gonna learn from his example and start giving it my all too. I've got something I gotta do now, but I'll see you around, little buddy. Okay. All right, bro. Cool, 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 cool. cool. The Psyduck is out. Is it daytime? Finally. Homeka Sawato. Schoolyard is Nimona. There's Arvin. Alright, Arvin. What you up to, bro? It's number three for him, right? We have four for Penny. Is it four for each of them? Because what the hell what the hell Nimona up to? What the, are you studying this hard dog? You gotta stand this close to the fucking blackboard? Or the blue board? <laughs> the screen? <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh, oh. Oh, reading, reading, reading. Oh, I'm reading. Oh, I was focusing so hard. I didn't even notice you, bud. Ha, ha. I know, I know. Pretty rare to see me actually studying, right? Ha. But I'm pretty good. I'm at a pretty good stopping point. How about a break? I could use a change of scenery. So I didn't even check. Can we go to Penny's room now? And uh, now we're at Arvin's room. Can we go to Arvin's room? This looks very much like Arvin's room. Yo, bro, do not go to Penny's room. It will drive you crazy, bro. It will drive you mad. But I want to look at that map. Oh, look at this little picture of his map. I'm still. Oh. What do you think? Welcome to Shay Arvin. Ha <laughs> ha. Shay Arvin and Marble Stiff, really. It screams Arvin. I literally said that when I walked in. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I know, right? Wait, what screams Arvin to you? Anyway, uh, about the reason you saw me studying in the classroom like that. Ah. Uh, I went back and read the pages about the Herba Mystica and the Violet book again. It made me remember how things were back when Mabelstiff was all weak and everything. I couldn't seem to do anything to help him and boy, it sure didn't feel good. Of course, I'm really glad I was able to find all the Herba Mystica together with you. But there's got to be other people who are still suffering the same way I was back then, worrying about their Pokemon that are sick or hurt. So, uh... So I, uh, I, uh, don't laugh, okay? I've decided that I, I'm gonna become a cook! I'm gonna make super healthy food bursting full of the stuff Pokemon need to feel great. Hey, I'll be behind you all the way, dog. You got it. You got it. Yeah, ha, ha and thanks. I knew I could count on you to be supportive like that. The culinary world might be a bit different, but I swear I'm going to be just as famous as my dad. So I guess I can close the book on my little hunt to find myself. That was quick. It's time to start a new chapter, one that's all about working toward my dream. And hey, feel, feel free to stop by my room anytime. Mavistiff will always be glad to see you. I'd only come here for him, bro. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. Look at him. Oh, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah. Oh, yes. I love you too. You're such a good boy. Oh, yes. You're such a good boy. Ah, you make me so happy. Damn, bro. You got a whole ass fridge. I didn't know it was a whole ass fridge in anybody else's room. Shit. Can I have a, you, you cook with this microwave, bro? Gordon Ramsay's not going to be happy about that. I'm going to tell you that much right now. Um, but wait, let me see. Can we go to Penny's dorm room? Arvin's dorm room. A delicious cooking smells waft from it. It's got a lot of computer gear. The light is a bit dim and it smells like cat urine. But it's Penny's dorm room. All right, so we have Sawaro, who we don't have Urban Mystica yet, or whatever he's looking for. He's looking for a, a Mystica plant, right? Um, schoolyard. Knock, knock. Nem owner. Namona, I like to come and say hello. Hello, hello, hello. What you doing over here, girl? Where you at? This you? Way out here? I ain't gonna turn the camera and look over there. Psych, I'm gonna look over here. Psych, I know you over here. <laughs> Dang, I didn't know that all this was here. Holy shit. Where the fuck is this at? Like in relation to everything else. I can't ride my shit here. I'm gonna hop over the wall, see where we're going. Miss Dendra. Hold on, Pneumonia. I mean, Nimona. Miss Dendra, how you doing, girl? Oh, Sue, new kid! Alright, fine. It's champion nappy to you, but whatever. How you doing, Nimona? 
How you doing, girl? Oh, ho, ho. hey, Nappy. Great timing. I've been having the hardest time lining up opponents to battle. But now I found you in the schoolyard, no less. It would be silly not to battle. What do you say? Let's go. I'm always down, Mona. I knew I could count on you. We really about to battle her? <laughs> you spent two whole hours battling Pokemon with Nimona. I kind of wanted to do that. <laughs> I was going to say, can we just have four side quests and have all four side quests be battles? We can do a single battle, double battle, triple battle, and a rotation battle. Bring it back. Easter egg right now. Oh, that'd be great. Ah, good stuff. Gotta step up my game so I'll be ready anytime for that Academy Ace tournament. I know I sprang my battle fever on you out of nowhere. Thanks for being up for it. I got you, Nimona. Anytime, girl. Any fucking time. She's still here. Where you at, girl? Where you at? Where you at? Where you go? Come on back. I know you ain't done. Cafeteria? Only makes sense. You'd be hungry after all that battling, right? Right? It only makes sense. Let me go get a spicy chorizo breakfast sandwich. Nimona got a boyfriend? Hold on. So you're good for a battle, right? Great. Meet you in the schoolyard in one minuto. Uh, hold up. You're Nimona, right? Like, the student council president? That Nimona? Si! <laughs> it's me. It's Mia. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah. Maybe some other time. Oh, never mind, Nimona. I'm sorry. Nappy! Hola! What was that? Is that a friend of yours? Yeah. Oh, him? Don't know who he was. I was just munching me sandwich and I heard him bragging about his tough Pokemon. So I invited him to battle. I wonder what Pokemon he's going to use. Can't wait to see. She's so battle blind. She doesn't even know. He ain't showing up. Wait, I forgot to get his contact info. How are we supposed to plan when we'll face off? Oh, well, I'll make sure we battle next time I run into him. Anyway, I guess you came to get some girl, huh? Well, I'm not one to stand between someone and their meal. Catch you later. On oh, a Mona. Wait, come back, girl. We ain't done. We ain't done. We ain't done. We ain't done. The school store. So we done battled for two hours. We done eight. Our energy's back up. Now we gotta get some more potions so we can battle again. Come on, girl. Better stock up real good on Pokeballs while I'm here. Nappy. I am your deal. I, I do me Oh my gosh, listen to this. Remember that guy from the cafeteria? Cafeteria? I ran into him again in the entrance hall, so I asked him to battle, but he said no. He was like, what's the point? You're a champion, and I battle with you to wreck me. I don't get what he meant. I mean, you can have fun battling even if you lose, right? Yeah, but winning's nice, though. I should have told her the other one. I don't feel like I'm... I'm putting her down now yeah I guess so obviously I'd rather win than lose but I just think it's better to go into things with a losing can be fun too attitude man Pokemon battles can get so complicated sometimes oh and I wish he hadn't called me a whiz I work hard at this stuff it's not like it all just comes naturally to me like throwing Pokeballs obviously doesn't come naturally to me for one thing oh it's alright Nimona I think I need a mental reset. I'm gonna go find someone to battle. See you soon, Nappy. See now that see 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 how we came full circle there? You wanna go find somebody else to battle because you don't wanna battle me. Cause I just spent two hours whooping your ass. And every single time we've ever battled before, I was whooping your ass. Now I get it. You enjoy it. Still getting your ass whooped. You still think it's fun, but how come you don't wanna battle right now? You need a mental reset? I'm not good enough to battle. Is that it? I got four teams of the Pokemon. You could choose who I use. <laughs> there you are, Nappy. I had a feeling you'd turn up if I hung out here for a while. And lo and behold, I was right. Well, now that I found you, we could swing by my room and have a chat. How do you say room in Spanish? Corto? We can swing by me corto. I think. I'm not sure. Is that protein powder for your Pokemon? Damn, it is. She got a shaker cup and everything. <laughs> Hey, but I like the badges. Hi, damn. Uh, ta, 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 ta. I, I don't know what that is. Welcome to Zona Namona. It's very you. Zona Namona. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, 
Muchas gracias. Oh, oh, wait a second. I know we've been to your room before. But have I never had you here? Ah, wild. Anyway, uh, listen. Escúchame, Nappy. You know how I, well, you know how I really like Pokemon battles. Like, really, really like them. <laughs> uh, I noticed. <laughs> cool. And yeah, you know how when you really like something, you dive in deep? That's what I did with Pokemon battles, and I, I, I just kind of became a champion. But then I found out that's pretty special, that normally it's not so simple for most people. People would tell me to my face that I'd only managed it because I have some innate gift or because I was raised differently or whatever. And suddenly I started to feel like there was this invisible wall between me and everyone else. So I started going easy when I'd battle my friends, I just wanted everyone to have fun. Oh, but don't worry, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going 100% all out. Especially since I'm lucky enough to have an opponent around who can beat me even when I'm in full hardcore mode. So just promise me one thing, okay, Nappy? Promise you'll always stay my equal. You and me, true rifles. That's what friends are for, girl. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you are the best, Nappy. Thank you. Oh, that got pretty personal. Little bit embarrassed over here. Anyway, since we're equals, I gotta start having you over as much as we hang out in your room. Just never, so you ain't gotta worry about it. Feel free to burst in on into the Zona Nemona whenever you want. And get ready for that Academy, Academy Ace Tournament, because I'm gonna stomp ya this time. So all three of them gave us keys to their rooms. <laughs> Okay, well, damn. All we got left here now is uh, Wado. And that's it, right? We don't have anything else? Nobody nobody else here uh, requires our attention. No more drama to be had. So we have Scarlet Area Zero Mons. That is all that's left for the living decks. Hector is working diligently on that. Hopefully we will have that here sometime soon. We have to see if there are Team Star rematches. Um, that's also on the table. Then we have these raids, which I haven't even looked at the map. I, uh, at the end of last episode, Homeboy called us and told us about it and said, hey, can you go do it? And I was like, yeah, bro, I got this shit. And I don't even know what I'm looking for. I don't even know what to do. Does it show me which raids are which? Um, how, how are you supposed to know? Because what is it? Is it tier 5? Is it tier 6? Is it tier 7? Is tier 7 just the event raids or whatever? Because I'm not seeing any sort of significant raids out here. Um, and we don't have an objective anymore either, right? <laughs> so he just wants us to do these raids. And then I guess when we do enough, we're supposed to... He's gonna hit us up, or is this just introducing like the end of the game or something like that? Like what you can do at the end. Um, I just chose this one just to see what's up here. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna find, <laughs> but I'm just gonna choose this one and just go instead of sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Uh, I wish I would have watched the end of last episode before this one because <laughs> then I could be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what I gotta do. I mean, hey, I guess we could check this Team Star base here too, as well, since we're here. Uh, but I mean, if there are Team Star rematches, there's only five of them. So I know I split the Gym Leader rematches across two episodes, um, but that's just because there was eight of them bitches. But if there's Team Star rematches, we're gonna squeeze all five into one. Hell yes, hell yes, hell yes. I want that fucking picture of that Sea Titan too. It looked so fucking dope. That picture was so dope. Oh, hey, what y'all doing up here? What kind of raid is this? I'm, I'm kind of just looking around. This is a four-star raid. But I don't think that that's what Homeboy was referencing. He was saying it was like really, really tough raids or something. You know what? You know what? You know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me do this real quick. Like, let me do this. Let's at the least go and talk to Jacques. You know, before I resign and say, oh, I'm going to go look it up or do this or do that or just give up, let me at least go talk to Jacques. How about that? Should we do that at the very least? <laughs> this is like a Goldango all over again. 
I don't know how to fucking evolve this thing. And only thing I didn't do was level it up. So before uh, I sit here and resign myself to just giving up and figuring it out later, let's go back to the person that actually gave us the quest line. Let's retrace our steps. Um, because the other two, well, we still have to check on the Team Star one, which we were <laughs> just said we were going to do that just now, but whatever. Um, he's our homeroom teacher, right? So he should be in classroom 1A. <laughs> classroom 1A. And he's not here. Um, okay. Love that huge Gengar. Let's try the staff room. Jacques, you hanging out in here, bruh? Is you in here, dog? Don't tell me you're in the schoolyard, because the schoolyard is big as shit, and I can't spawn one side to the other. Jacques is not here. Is he out and about doing raids? I don't, I don't. Yeah, I am doing well. I like how you're in the entrance hall and here. Cool, 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 cool. You got anything else to say, bro? Superbly. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha. Well, I guess, I don't know. I will have to go watch the end of last episode and figure that shit out. <laughs> to figure out what the fuck. Because it doesn't show me anything on my map. Like, specifically, y'all got Pokemon sleeping above the stove. That's unsanitary. Unsanitary. Wait a minute. Hold up. He's the biology teacher, right? Maybe he's in the biology lab. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he's our homeroom teacher, so I thought he was going to be in homeroom, but now that I think about it, that is true. What you looking at over here, bro? Aim to register 400 Pokemon species in your Pokedex. Once you do, press the X button in your Pokedex app, and you'll get a nice little completion mark. I'd love it if you could show me when you get it. Alright, he's not going to help us out either. Um, so... Okay, 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 So we're, we've seen and caught, yo, isn't that just crazy? 394, battle 394. I love it. Let's register everything we can. We're at 390. Three big nuggets. Six more volumes until your next reward. And that's all we're missing. Um, okay. So, I think we need to figure out where to go next. <laughs> Say that much. And uh, I'm going to wrap up today's episode here a little bit earlier. Um, so far, we just have these raids, the Team Star, and the Living Decks to complete, but I'm not going to recap again and again and again and again and again. I'm going to figure out what it is that we need to do for these Terror Raids, um, because it sounds like this might be like the last post-game quest thing available. Um, that plus the Team Star rematches, so are we not going to make it to 100 episodes in our initial LP? Um, some people were asking me, like, what are you going to do about DLC? Are you going to start a new playthrough? No, I'm going to do it just like we did Sword and Shield. We did our Sword and Shield playthrough, and then, I don't know, the thumbnail color change or something, but it's still our Pokemon Violet Let's Play. Just Violet has DLC. When we're, we're doing Skyrim on Navi the Great, and when we get to the DLC in Skyrim, I'm not going to start a whole new playthrough. You know, that, that DLC, Dawn Guard and Dragonborn and all that shit, that's going to be included in the Let's Play. So, if, when... Hopefully they do put out DLC. We'll continue on with that, but we're not even at that part yet. We still got a few last loose ends to tie up, um, and maybe, maybe just maybe what is this 91? Here, let's guesstimate since we have the time. 91 is this. 92. Let's say it's uh, terror raids. We do all raids. In 92, 93 is Team Star rematches, and 94 we finally complete the decks. What else is there to do? I mean, don't spoil me if there is more to do. Don't spoil me if there is more to do. But as far as I know, there's nothing else to do. So maybe just for shits and giggles, we can do a surprise trade episode for number 95. So that way when the DLC drops, we can just do 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, and just keep going. But I don't want to just be putting up episodes for the sake of putting up episodes. You know, out of this entire playthrough, check this out. Check this out. We have spent 146 hours, 146 and a half hours in this playthrough. You cannot tell me we did not play this damn fucking game. <laughs> and we still ain't done yet! Damn it, we still ain't done! But we have definitely put in quite a few hours into this game. And I know that probably at least a good quarter of this playthrough was just me riding around looking at shit. <laughs> Which I know is not everyone's cup of tea, but... I love the fucking game i don't want to feel limited when i sit down and play the game so we played the damn game and i'm happy to say here we are 91 episodes later almost to the end 
and you guys have been here with us every single step of the way so thank you for that as well anyways like i've been saying we got some loose ends left to wrap up and we are going to focus on knocking those out but we're going to wrap up for here today i think this might be our last university episode if saguaro and jacques are the only two left in there that's it that's it <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to wrap up for here today. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Violet, and of course, if you'd like to show your support as a prime of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And until we see each other again, thank you so much for your love and light, and be safe. I'm out this bitch. Bye. Oh, yeah, the Ace Academy tournament. I forgot about that, too. I was, I was thinking about it during my outro, but a lot of people were saying that you can do it again and there are different teachers, but I don't think we're going to keep doing it again and again and again and again and again just to fight every single teacher. Maybe when the DLC comes out, we'll do it and see if we can get some more teachers. Maybe we'll do it with a surprise. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to wrap it up here. We know where we're somewhat headed towards next. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. And until we see each other again, be safe. I'm out this bitch. Bye.